Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. This video is just a continuation ng ating previous video about proving trigonometric identities. Okay? So, bago nyo panoorin to guys, uh, make sure na panoorin nyo muna yung ating first video. Kasi diniscuss ko dun guys uh, kung ano ba yung, ano -ano ba yung mga different um, fundamental identities na gagamitin natin in proving. Okay? So, continue tayo. So, let's have our example number 5. Prove that secant theta minus cosine theta is equals to sine theta times tangent theta. So, again, um, ang sinisimplify natin dito, guys, is yung mas complex na side. Okay? So, in our case, mas complex yung ating secant theta minus cosine theta. Okay? So, i-rewrite natin lahat ng ating functions in terms of sine and cosine. So, kung tandaan nyo, si secant theta guys, by using the reciprocal identities, uh, same lang yan guys ni 1 over cosine theta. Tama? Then, we have 1 over cosine theta minus cosine theta. So, our goal is yung left side natin na secant theta minus cosine theta is maging sine theta times tangent theta. Okay? So, next is combine natin ngayon yung ating 1 over cosine theta and yung ating cosine theta. So, by using the LCD. So, ang LCD natin dito guys is cosine theta. So, cosine theta divided by cosine theta, that is 1 times 1, so we have 1, then minus cosine theta divided by 1, that is cosine theta, times cosine theta, that is cosine squared theta. Nakuha? So next, si 1 minus cosine squared theta, uh, by using our um, Pythagorean identities, so, the same lang yan, guys, ni sine squared theta. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, since meron tayong sine squared theta doon sa ating numerator, so, pwede natin yan i-factor. Okay? So, si sine squared theta is same lang, guys, ni sine theta times sine theta over cosine theta. Nakuha? So, kung titignan nyo guys, yung nasa right side na expression natin, meron tayong sine theta. So, ang kulang na lang is yung ating tangent theta. Tama? So, meron tayong sine theta. So, in our case, yung sine theta over cosine theta natin dito is pwede nating applyan ng ating quotient identities. So, yung sine theta over cosine theta natin guys is same lang ni tangent theta. Tama? So again, ang ginamit natin is yung ating quotient identities. So as you can see, na yung nasa left side na expression natin is the same na nung nasa right side. So therefore, um, this given guys is an identity. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 6. Prove that cosecant theta over tangent theta plus cotangent theta is equals to cosine theta. Okay? So, obviously, yung nasa left side yung mas complex. So, meaning, ito yung gagamitin natin guys na para i-simplify. Then, we will see kung same lang ba siya nung ating nasa right side. Okay? So, ang first move natin guys is i-rewrite natin lahat ng functions in terms of sine and cosine. Okay? So, para makapag-simplify tayo. So, si cosecant theta, by using the reciprocal identity, that is the same as 1 over sine theta. Okay? Then, over... Si tangent theta, by using our um, quotient identities, tangent theta is the same as sine theta 
over cosine theta. Okay? Then plus, we have cotangent theta. So again, by applying the quotient identities, cotangent theta is equals to cosine theta over sine theta. Okay, so next is combine natin guys yung ating nasa denominator. Sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta. So, copy lang natin yung ating nasa numerator which is 1 over sine theta. So, sa denominator natin guys, ang ating LCD dyan is yung cosine theta times sine theta. Tama? So, divide natin si LCD. Divide natin yung cosine theta. So, makakancel yung cosine theta. Then, we have sine theta times sine theta. That is sine squared theta. Okay? Then, plus LCD divided by sine theta. So, makakancel yung ating sine theta. Ang matitira is yung cosine theta. Times cosine theta. That is cosine squared theta. Okay? So, after natin ma-add yung ating um, dalawang expression, so, kung mapansin nyo, yung sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, that is a Pythagorean identities, which is equivalent to positive 1. Tama guys? So, ngayon, meron na tayong 1 over sine theta over 1 over cosine theta times sine theta. Okay? So, para masimplify natin to guys, i-divide natin ngayon si 1 over cosine theta times sine theta kay 1 over sine theta. So, para ma-divide natin to, get the reciprocal nung nasa denominator Si 1 over cosine theta sine theta is magiging cosine theta times sine theta over 1. Nakuha? So, kinuha natin guys yung reciprocal. Then, move to multiplication. Okay? So, in our case, makakancel dito guys yung ating sine theta. So, pag sinimplify natin to 1 times cosine theta, that is cosine theta over 1, which is equals to cosine theta. Tama? Then, this time, uh, same na siya guys nung nasa right side na term natin. Okay? So, therefore, yung given natin guys is an identity. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 3. Prove that tangent squared x minus secant squared x over cosine x is equals to negative secant x. So, as you can see, yung nasa left side na equation natin is mas complex kaysa dun nasa right side. So, meaning, uh, yung tangent squared x minus secant squared x over cosine x yung ating isisimplify. Okay? Okay? So, una, si secant squared x, guys, kung tandaan nyo, uh, by Pythagorean identities, si secant squared x is the same lang, guys, ni tangent squared x plus 1. Tama? Then, copy lang natin yung ating denominator, which is cosine x. Ngayon, simplify natin to guys. Distribute natin yung negative so, we have tangent squared x minus tangent squared x minus 1 over cosine x. Okay? Then, simplify natin. Tangent squared x minus tangent squared x makakancel. So, yung expression natin is magiging negative 1 over cosine x. Okay? So, ngayon, yung 1 over cosine x, guys, that is a reciprocal identity ng ating secant x. Tama? So, kung i-rewrite -re natin yan, we have negative 
Then, yung 1 over cosine x is the same lang, guys, ni secant x. Okay? Which is equals, guys, doon sa right side ng ating identity. So, therefore, um, this equation, guys, is an trigonometric identity. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 8. Prove that tangent x times cosecant x times secant x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. So, again, yung nasa left side na term natin is mas complex kaysa dun sa right side. So, ito na lang yung ating simplify. Okay? So, para mas simplify natin yan, e rewrite natin guys lahat ng functions in terms of sine and cosine. Okay? So, una, we have tangent x. So, by using the um, quotient identities, tangent x is equals to sine x over cosine x. Okay? Then times, we have cosecant x. So, by applying the reciprocal identities, cosecant x is the same as 1 over sine x. Okay? Then, si secant x natin dito, by applying the reciprocal identity, secant x is the same as 1 over cosine x. Tama? So, pag sinimplify natin yan, guys, makakancel yung ating sine x. Then, 1 times 1, we have 1 over cosine x times cosine x. That is cosine squared x. Okay? So, since nasa denominator si cosine x, pag kinuha natin, guys, yung reciprocal ng ating 1 over cosine x, that is the same lang, guys, ni secant squared x. Okay? So, in-apply natin, guys, yung ating uh, reciprocal identities. Okay? Next is si secant squared x, guys. Uh, familiar yan since makikita niyan yan guys doon sa ating uh, Pythagorean identities na si secant squared x is the same lang guys ni tangent squared x plus 1 which is now equals guys doon sa right side ng ating equation. Tama? So therefore, uh, this equation is an identity. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-prove ng trigonometric identities. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!